right, just leaving Todd's now. Um, they tell me that the toilet problem was caused by a faulty solenoid. Um, here's a picture of the solenoid. And um, that was the cause of the problem. He said he never had one of those go before, so it's just a bit unusual and just one of those things. So, hopefully, no more problems. Yeah, so um, we're back home. Got the van on the drive now. Yeah, so we're just going to do a little update how we got on with the van. Because we we left our last video, didn't we? We were at, just arrived at Southport, really, haven't we? With all the wetness. Yeah. It, and trying to cope with the toilet. Yeah, it was a really wet, wet weekend tea. It was. And uh, I think the one thing we did test is the waterproofness of the van. Yeah, and... Uh, it was it was very very windy yeah it was 40 50 mile an hour winds yeah so um, and it was it was lifting the um the skylights a little bit it was so it was so windy i'm sure it was more than 50 miles an yeah. hour yeah it's how i remember it that day on harris yeah it was that bad it was that it? bad li lifting uh, things but no i mean ev everything held uh, together yeah yeah nothing yeah. leaked or no nothing leaked no um, we've got Tara because she's going for a grooming um, tomorrow, so yeah. she's come for an overnighter. Yeah. And uh, she's a bit clingy prepared. at the moment. Yeah, because yeah. you are, aren't you? Because yeah. people keep saying the word groomer as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, just really, like I say, just wanted to give a quick, quick update how we got on with the van. How did we get on with the van? Okay, I mean, well, obviously we had that issue with the toilet but we managed to overcome that didn't we oh yeah yeah um what we discovered is the toilet stopped flushing altogether yeah um, so we were able to use the pump so i actually had a shower yeah so I, I took a bit of footage of me getting ready for a shower yeah so i'll, I'll put that in here yeah right got the pump on the toilet's not permanently flushing for now so it will start flushing as soon as I start hitting that button there that uh, pumps on. So I'm going to try the shower. First chance we've had to try the shower. And uh, I will let you know how I get on. All right. Had me shower. Yeah, much better. Um, it's really nice to shower. Really enjoyed it. It's nice and warm. Can't beat having a warm shower on a wet, horrible day. And uh, it's what shower works. It works pretty well. Even this switch thing here, even that seems to have uh, worked very well. On a previous one, I had to take it off because it was always sticking. Yeah, there's a little spot in the corner there where you can put your shampoo and stuff. And that, as for room. I'm not sh I'm not sure it's as big as our previous shower particularly that the the length ways that way but, yeah but it's compensated because it's quite wide that way so you know, just basically turn around the doors work really well and they completely see seal off the area they're excellent and they feel well made but overall that was a really enjoyable experience we'll probably be using the shower a lot more um, the sink there's not a lot of room to wash your wash your face in there because it's so well it's, it's that that deep and you sort of, you know, when, once you get your head in there, there's not a lot of room to splash water about. So it's okay, but it's not the best sink we've ever used. But again, it's sort of lengthways, it's okay. Overall, really enjoyed that. That's good. Feel all, all clean now. <laughs> uh, so the other thing was, how did we get on empty in the wastewater? I did film a little bit of uh, the wastewater, but somehow I managed to film it in um, time warp. <laughs> so, so there's a little bit of video I'm probably going to put in here of me rushing around um, 
<laughs> with the pipe on. Um, but the thing about the wastewater is, uh, as this bit of video will explain, is that you press the button and it empties for 10 minutes or so. So have a look at this. Right, time to empty the waste. So press that button and confirm. It flashes yellow and it's emptying. I think it stays on for 10 minutes, I think I read. So it's emptying out the water as we speak. Yeah, I think it'll just stop eventually. Still coming out? Still yeah, still out. coming out, yeah. yeah. Well, it was when I was out there. <laughs> also, if you want to stop it, if you tap on empty waste and say stop draining, you go confirm and it will stop. So. But I'll leave it on, confirm, I'll leave it on emptying. I think the only sort of thing with that is un unlike um, our previous van we just leave the pipe connected to the tap with the tap open is that you have to th consciously think I'm going to empty the water this morning and, uh, and just make it a regular thing. You can't just sort of connect up the hose and forget about it. No. But I think it, I think it's more geared up obviously to uh, um, motorhome service points, it's easier to use that way. So as you can see I've managed to use the collapsible collapse waste pipes, <laughs> we'll struggle with that. Yeah. Um, the great thing about the collapse waste pipes is I can use them to actually empty the fresh water as well. If I put an extra two on the, on the end of it I can empty the, the fresh water and emptying the fresh water em works the same way as emptying the waste water. I did do a trial run of making up the front bed and it was really really easy um, and I'll, I'll stick a bit of film in there of me making up the bed. Okay, I was going to make this double bed up okay you're going to help? Perhaps not. So first things first let's get rid of the covers. The cushion. Put those down there for now. And this one. Can you go over there girls or over there? Come on, you have to move now. Come on. Jump ups, that's it. And you. Whoa. <laughs> so make those. And then what you do, Zara, if you lift this up, fold out the leg, like that. And then you unclip the seats. I've got clipped onto the wall, little push clips, there's another, another one there, and another one there, leave that there for now, do the same on this side, two clips. I don't think we're ever, we'll ever use this bed but it's there if we need it. There. And one there that stops the the um, seats moving. Just need to go back there. So we lift up this one. And it's got a leg that folds out. And all you do is you just move that into the middle, and this one as well. Drop the seats down the back. Drop the cushions down the back. See that? Yeah. And there's an infill cushion. It is a tiny, tiny thing, and that goes at the back there. And get Tara to move. That just goes down the back here. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny gap. That's only really a bit of stuffing. And that's the bed made up. Yeah, the. the Thing you notice is because you obviously you've got a little yeah. bit extra there haven't you yeah you've got a bit of a, 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 well, a cut off really isn't yeah. it it's a cut off yeah but it's fairly wide there it's about four foot wide there isn't it and obviously it's wider over there mm. so let's <laughs> test it out then t oh. does that work yeah yeah that seems all right doesn't that actually seems very comfortable so your head's there, 
and your feet are there so yeah I've got my slippers on so yeah so just about touch well there's a load of space back there yeah. three or four inches there yeah so I think these beds are probably about six foot five something like that Long. that infill has to go that end doesn't it because of its width yeah yeah it yeah. can't go the other end yeah no what do you reckon pops could we sleep here then yeah, looks all right. <laughs> so, do you think that's quicker than that fifty-nine two? It's much quicker yeah. than the Baileys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the fact that you've only got—we did have an infill cushion with the Bailey, didn't we? Yeah, but it was a big thing. Yeah, and this is a tiny thing that fits in the back yeah. of the wardrobe and takes yeah. up hardly any space. So, I think well, the one thing we found with that Bailey one was getting the two sides together was sometimes a bit difficult wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Didn't quite meet but with these sort of leg things they seem seems better. Yeah there's no you're not pulling out a frame you're just folding no. some legs down. Yeah yeah. So, uh, I think it's a really good idea T. Right let's see I can't get up now. Yeah, let's just put it away. Lift that one up there, push that one back Lift that up, fold the leg in, put that down, clip the cushions back. That's probably the fiddliest bit. One clip. See that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Clips on that. We've got the same ones up here. Press stubs, really. <laughs> it's the fiddliest bit, isn't it's it? It's the fiddliest bit, yeah, that's it. That's one. That's one. Lose the infill. That is the infill. Yeah, which is for nothing, really, is it? No. That just goes. I'm going to lose that quite easily. Probably don't need it because it's only a hand width. But... Push that back. That lifts up. Folds under. And then clips again at the back. This is a fiddly bit because I'm under the telly. There we go. That's it. Just right. Put our normal covers back and we're done. You know, that took two minutes and five seconds. Two minutes and five seconds. Seconds to do that, yeah. That's all right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The other thing I want to mention was the bed struts. The, the struts that hold up the bed, they don't actually seem strong enough to hold it up with the du duvelet on, on there and the mattress. Um, on our old van, it was, a it was actually a job to shut the bed once you'd opened it because it sort of sprang up and uh, <laughs> had to lean on it to push it down. So I think they've reduced the strength of the struts. The only problem is that it's not got enough strength in the struts to hold the mattress up with the duvelet and the pillows on it. So if I'm leaving up the, the bed up for a long time, I actually have to take the duvelet off. Let me, right, let me show you. So I can lift it, I can lift it up but if I leave it, it closes on me. So if I take the duvelet off and open the bed, the struts will keep the locker open. So they've obviously designed this for sort of bedding mm. rather than a duvelet mattress. So I think I want my old struts back. Jenny reckons that the beds are slightly taller, obviously. I have to go to Todd's and measure our old bed and the new bed to find out. Well, you could look for some footage of you standing by your old bed <laughs> and standing could. by your new one and see if it comes up yeah. above your I, knee. Or I know not. Poppy um, was less willing to jump up, weren't you, Pops? Mm. Just want to talk about the fridge. It's a very nice fridge, and you, you reckon it, it's everything's cold in there, don't you? Yeah, well, my, my beer and my wine were yeah. fine. 
it's it, the the freezer box is not really big enough for two loaves anymore so no, no so we're down we're down to one loaf in there it's a slimline fridge so i think it, it is it's obviously smaller but do you think it's all right yeah but i was looking at i keep looking at this fridge control let me just take you to the fridge control and it it worryingly says it's warm and i've got it turned down to its coldest setting and it says it's warm. I know I've been driving, uh, been driving the van and it's been on 12 volts, so it probably would be a warm, but I might be worrying a little bit too much about that being too warm. If anyone's got uh, these controls, can they tell me what they've got their fridge set on and what it shows on there? That would be really useful. It's perfect for boxes of wine. <laughs> We've got two boxes of wine here. Sainsbury's delivered two boxes rather than one for the weekend, but. Never mind, but it's perfect for serving wine because it the, the shelves are actually taller than the other one. I suppose that's you know that's the benefit of the slimline fridge because mm. I think that yeah so that works quite well. Just talk about the cooker. That's worked very well, hasn't it? Yeah, um, it's yes. I mean the oven and we haven't used the grill yet, have we? But use the. Um gas hob and, and the, the actual oven. oven yeah um it seemed to have some sort of fan didn't it that came on yeah i think when it gets hot there's a fan that comes on which is a bit a bit weird really it only seems to come on when it's hot yeah and um, we couldn't find anything could we in in the manual or, the or anything that about said it. it's got a fan we just were wondering because it carried on after we switched the oven off didn't it yeah and then stopped after then a while finally stopped but at one point we thought is that going to stop yeah yeah but yeah and it's very similar to our previous cooker i think the, the only other comment you the only other comment you had on it was that the ignition buttons moved over to there yeah that's taken me a little bit of getting used to but uh, yeah moved over to there yeah which is because normally you turn it on with your right hand and then you <laughs> you'd cross over with your left yeah, hand I'm, I'm, yeah i did find that a bit confusing but why the move i'll get that? used to it i don't know i suppose but washing up was was good when that sink it seemed easier yeah i think, yes. think you're more i think sharon pointed out that when you're washing up now you're more standing like where you are or up there rather than before you mean you stand you're standing about here yeah 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 rather than sort of being stuck in the corner yeah rather than going around here somewhere yeah yeah how did you get on with this cupboard here all right as long as um because if i wanted the pans i, I pulled the basket out with the pans in yeah so we've got so that worked quite well we've got trays in there yeah. we've got uh pans and we've got another tray behind that and the cutlery drawer i did find the cutlery drawer that much better because it's good is it yeah because the forks are in the fork bit the knives are in the knife bit etc <laughs> whereas on that carousel things used to get thrown in yeah you know because you can't remember where things are supposed to go and uh, you used to get in a real mess quickly, so no, I, I, I like that. that. That is a big improvement. Yeah, yeah. Are you following all this too? Sorry, wasn't here for all of this, were you? So. No, you missed it, didn't you? The other thing I'm, I want to add is uh, there's less sockets in this van, less main socket. There's a main socket there, there's a couple of main sockets there, there's no main sockets up there at all and in the bedroom you've got a main socket for the telly and that's it mm. which seems a little bit mean so, so I how, many, might... how many is that then because we have... well there's three in here and one in there so it's four four and do but how many were before about that's seven eight, about seven yeah we had yeah. A, we had a main socket that was up there yeah uh, we obviously had those two yeah we had a main socket in the cupboard above the fridge and we had two in the bedroom we had one there and there was one down there mm. so these are the things that you don't notice until you start using the van and obviously with things like cameras and phones yeah. and yeah but that sort of thing i have been used to charge my phone i've been using the usbs in the bedroom yeah and then you can put the wire inside the cupboard yeah that's been that's, good isn't that's it? been good because you obviously don't want to leave charging phones on the bed yeah because you've got two usb sockets there and you just put the wire and just put the, the phones in there and that works pretty well yeah yeah 
Anything else? Um, have we missed the satellite? Oh yeah. So did we miss the satellite? No, because we managed to tune both the TVs in, didn't we? Yeah. I brought my fire stick. Yeah. You had your Chromecast. Yeah. And no, I didn't no. miss it. No. So what we've done is I've got a Chromecast stick on this telly. And I, don't, I think we've taken it indoors now. Yeah, we? we have. And we put a fire stick on this telly in here. Yeah. So, and we haven't missed the, the satellite at all. So. And it was nice not to have to worry too much where we're in the right pitch. And I mean, we've been all right at Southport because yeah. we were out, fairly out in the open. But yeah. a lot of sites we've been really struggling, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. And right. it just seems a waste because you can't use it. Yeah. So I'm not sure we're convinced we need a satellite dish. No, no. Or dome. No. But one thing I would say is that this telly seems huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I look whilst I was at Todd's today, I was looking at the 21 inch ones. Of course, what's happened is that as they've added, uh, changed these tellies, this gap here, this border that goes around the telly, has got smaller. So a 21 inch TV is actually smaller than this 21 inch TV. Because that's got a border on it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's a bit like the domestic TVs, mm. that they've, the screen's gone out to the edges. Yeah, and like my phone. Phone's done that as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Coming over? So I, I've been sitting over here and putting this cushion behind me and putting my feet up. I can't put my feet up now. No, got Tara. Got Tara. <laughs> I was going to demonstrate putting my feet up. <laughs> no. But uh, Tara's not going to let me. But I've been putting my feet up and putting my feet onto the the chair over there. Yeah. So, uh, so that works quite well. And then just watching the TV. So I can still watch what I want to watch and you can watch what you want to watch. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Yeah, so the lounge has been brilliant. Mm. Um, we've had Glenn and Sharon round, and um, when we met up with Posh Cats, uh, we had six people in here. Yeah, yeah. So two people can sit over there, two people over there, two people here, and uh, that's worked really well. Tara's making her bed at the moment. <laughs> You're making a right blooming mess there, T. <laughs> Good own sofa, isn't she? Yeah, you don't so seem to want her bed that's there. No. So what do you think of it? What do you think of it, Tara? You like it? She's another motorhome, she says. <laughs> You're always getting different motorhomes, she says. <laughs> I think she quite likes it. Yeah. You'd like to go away in it, really, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd like to come away with us. Have a word with your mum and see if <laughs> she can come come on our next trip. <laughs> She's, tell her you like it here. Right, so that's it for now. And... Um, I think that's it, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Um, we're not going away until uh, January. That's our planned next trip away, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Moffat. That's Moffat, but uh, we might yeah. sneak a couple of nights in just to test the toilet. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got to put some water back in and uh, <laughs> check it in a little while, but uh, yeah, hopefully yeah. the toilet's all right. Yeah, and uh, then look out for our year-end review, which will be totally different from any other year in review we've done right because before we've done like two or three videos haven't we yeah. recap in the year well decided that's just too much it's too much and it takes yeah. too long as yeah. well so we're going to do a top 10 um, favorite things of the year yeah uh, so watch out for that uh, if you haven't already give us a like uh, remember to subscribe if you hit the notifications icon you'll get an update of when we release our next video and uh, We'll yep. keep in touch. Yep. So that's it. We'll see you soon. Yep. See you then. Bye. Bye. Tara. We need those covers. Tara, can we have the covers back? Please. <laughs> that's not your bed. <laughs> Gonna have a real job trying to make that into a bed. <sighs> well, right, know, we Bobby. might get the covers back on. There you are. Not being any help. <laughs> Not been any help at all, have you? <laughs> Come on, jump in. Go be in your bed for a minute. Be in your bed for a minute. Oh. Come on then. Can do a flying leap. Look. <laughs> animals, eh? <laughs>